Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Thursday, March 31st, 2022. Stand up for your country. You know, I get thousands of pieces of mail and uh, we have a message board on BillOReilly.com if you'd like to weigh in and talk to other folks who watch us. And um, a lot of the material that we deal with on this program is discussed all over the world um, about what we say and uh, the facts we give you. And I always tell people, look, um, you're going to talk to people with disagreements uh, who see life differently and uh, have different philosophies than you do. You should be respectful to those people, but don't back down. Don't back away. But the only way you can debate most of those people, because they're emotionally tied into their belief system, as are you, as are I am, okay, is to do facts. And that's what we are in business to do on BillOReilly.com, on the No Spin News, on the radio. We are in business to give you facts. Now, a lot of people won't accept the facts. What are you going to do? You give them, they don't accept them, that's it. There's no further conversation, really. So today, I'm going to give you more facts in this presentation than I've ever given you before. Because we're coming to a point where Americans are going to either have to say, we want effective government, we want fair government that is going to help us, or we don't. That's where we are in history now. So let us begin with Hunter Biden. Doesn't that sound a little unusual that I would give that uh, monologue and then open with Hunter Biden? Stay with me. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Now, the overview on Hunter Biden is factual. So while his father was vice president under President Obama, Hunter Biden decided to go into business, and he used his father's position to set up contracts around the world. China, Russia, Ukraine, and those contracts brought Hunter Biden millions of dollars. That's a fact. Hunter Biden admits it. Hunter Biden told the IRS that happened. All right. So millions of dollars are coming to Hunter Biden. But Hunter Biden really doesn't have a job, right? It's not like he's working for the No Spin News. He doesn't have a job. He's appointed and he gets contracts to consult. But he's not doing anything. He's not building anything. He's not particularly creative or any of that. But millions of dollars are going into his wallet. Fact. His father knows this is happening because Hunter Biden on occasion introduces his father to his business partners around the world and Hunter Biden flies on Air Force Two with his father to take meetings, particularly in China. So the vice president of the United States knows that his son is reaping millions of dollars by an association with him. Joe Biden knows that. That is corruption. That's what it is. Now, if you're an honest politician, you say to your son, number one, you're not flying on Air Force Two at taxpayers' expense so you can make money. That's not happening. And number two, I'm the vice president. I can't have you entering into deals with nations that I'm responsible for. Remember, Barack Obama put Joe Biden in charge of Ukraine. So this is corruption. Now, that's an opinion, but it's based on facts. So Joe Biden, to me, used his position as vice president to perform corrupt acts on behalf of his son, And I think his brother, but I'm not quite sure about Jimmy yet. Now, if you want to go back in history to see another president who did the exact same thing, you go to U.S. Grant, who in his administration employed 40 members, 4-0, of the Grant family. And U.S. Grant was battered by corruption 
his entire eight years. Okay, so you can read about it, but it's the same thing. So members of Grant's family were enriching themselves because Grant was president. Members of Biden's family enriched themselves because he was vice president. Are you with me so far? Is everybody here? Now, there's no two sides to that story. So if your liberal friends, if your Biden supporter friends deny it, then they're just living in the land of Oz. They don't want to know the truth. As Jack Nicholson once said, you can't handle the truth. All right. Timeline Hunter Biden. April 2019, two years ago, Hunter Biden damages his MacBook MacBook Pro. No, I do it. Damages his computer water damage. He brings it in, not to a computer place, but to uh, some kind of slash. He doesn't bring it to Apple. He brings it to some guy in Wilmington, Delaware. The guy does repairs, but he can't even see this guy. So I I don't know. He drops the computer off, does Hunter Biden, and he never comes back to get it. Okay, this is a guy getting paid millions of dollars by China, Ukraine, and Russia. Drops the computer off and doesn't come back. In the computer, all kinds of business stuff, personal stuff, pictures of him, inebriated. I mean, it's like, all right. So the guy, he takes the hard drive out, John Paul Mac Isaac. Why? I don't know. Why would you do that? You're not entitled to do that. He just want to fix the computer. So he takes it out, all right? And he makes a copy, and he gives it to Rudy Giuliani's lawyer, Robert Costello. All right, this is in September. So computer goes in in April. Hunter Biden doesn't show back up. Uh, in September, the guy makes a copy of the hard drive and gives it to Rudy Giuliani's lawyer, Robert Costello. Why would you do that? Okay. Then the FBI gets involved because Giuliani kind of whispers around that he has it. And they go into the Delaware repair shop and take the computer. They have subpoenas. They take it. Okay. Now, later on in a congressional hearing, the person in charge of this, the FBI uh, personnel, says he doesn't know where the computer is. (laughs) You've seen the clip. It's just... Okay, great. Thanks. All right. Then in late September, after the hard drive has been given to Giuliani and the FBI seizes it, um, I'm sorry, the FBI seizes it in December. In late September, Steve Bannon tells the New York Post about this whole thing. All right. And then the New York Post gets a copy of the hard drive and prints it in October, October 11th. Okay. It's a big story in the New York Post. But none of the other corporate media pick it up, and it's banned on social media, Facebook and all that. They ban it. Why would you do that? Okay, I mean, you know, it's a legitimate story. Check it out yourself. Okay, so there's a total across-the-board blackout of the story, which you know about. And then it comes up to Joe Biden in the final presidential debate. Finally, it, it gets to him. All right, he's running for president October 20th, right before the election. Hey, your kids' laptops is all kinds of salacious stuff. What do you think? Roll the tape. There are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plant. They have said that this is, has all the care. Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties, say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend, Rudy Gianni. You mean the laptop is now yeah. another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? And that's exactly be. what is this that's where you're exactly going? what this is going. where he's going. OK. Am I? It's two weeks before the election. So Joe Biden. But remember, look what he said. That's what I was told. OK. All right. So now we know that 
Biden was misled or lied. One or the other, misled or lied. Okay, because stuff on it wasn't a Russian hoax. Uh, Hunter Biden put it there. Hackers capitalize on uncertainty. Russians' invasion of Ukraine is a type of chaos that can put American homeowners at risk. We are all familiar with scams like robocalls or emails and texts with unfamiliar attachments. But there's a bigger scam, which is hard to detect and even harder to stop and could cost you your home. It's called home title fraud. It happens when a hacker goes online, finds the title to your home, then forges your signature, removes you from your home's title. Then he will take out loans on your home, leaving you in debt. That's what's so devastating is that you won't even know it till it's too late. You can go to your county clerk's office and check to make sure your home is still in your name or just simply visit HomeTitleLock.com and enter your address to see if you're already a victim. Please go to HomeTitleLock.com. That's HomeTitleLock.com. So now where do we stand? Okay, this is the most important part of this. So the feds are investigating Hunter Biden. It's led by Delaware U.S. Attorney David Weiss. Now, David Weiss has to use the FBI to accumulate information, facts. All right. All right. So that's underway. And according to CBS News, which is now finally covering it for some reason. All right. The FBI and the U.S. Attorney are looking at Hunter Biden allegedly violating tax laws, money laundering, and violating foreign lobbying laws. So there is a grand jury. What is a grand jury? It is folks, regular folks, impaneled for months, not a regular one-shot deal like we all have to do. These people are impaneled for a while and they're paid. And they look at the evidence and they decide to issue an indictment or not. I think Hunter Biden's going to get indicted. I do. Okay. So that's where we are. And all of the other stuff you hear is BS, hype, whatever. Okay. So Hunter Biden right now is living in California near Malibu. All right. And he is doing some art stuff. See, this just the guy doesn't have a job. He's never had a job. And he's living in the most expensive area of the country, Malibu. All right. Now, the Washington Post ran an article. I'm not even going to bother with it. Not even bothering with it. New York Times not bothering with it. They don't want to tell you what actually happened. They're covering themselves because they know they're not newspapers any longer, but their credibility is now people are mocking them. So they've got to cover it. And as soon as they do it, then the corporate TV media does it. With the exception of Fox. Fox has done it all along, but sometimes on FNC, it's not true what they're telling you. They're hyping it. All right. So Hunter Biden and his father, the president, are afforded due process. We know it happened. We know it was corrupt, Joe Biden. But we don't know if you committed a formal crime yet. So if Hunter Biden gets indicted, that means there's a trial. Unless he pleads guilty, which he might to avoid a trial in a trial. You're going to have people come in and say, Joe Biden got a piece because they've already said it. Bobolinsky, I think the guy's name is, Hunter Biden uh, partner. Hey, dad got a taste, the big guy, 10 percent. That was all in the New York Post story, but it hasn't been proven. And that's what would happen if Hunter Biden is indicted. Now, I know I can hear you saying, well, It's a corrupt uh, Biden administration, Justice Department, never going to do it. It's too far gone for that. If they don't indict, they're going to have to explain why. 
All right. So Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI, whose main cyber guy didn't even know where Hunter's computer was. Christopher Ray is going to have to come out and explain it. Now, if he does get in, indicted, and this is the final part of this talking points memo, and I, I hope you find it worthy. President Biden could pardon him before there's even a trial, before anything happens. That's what Gerald Ford did to Richard Nixon. And there have been a few other cases in history where a president has pardoned someone before the legal charges are brought to a jury. Okay? Now, if Joe Biden does that, he's through. So even the New York Times, the Washington Post, NBC News, and those are the three most progressive news organizations, CNN right behind them. But even they would have to call for Joe Biden to resign if he pardoned his son so nobody could find out what really happened. Joe Biden pretty much would have to resign. That's where it would be. Now, it might be worth it for him to resign if he took money from his son and his brother. If Joe Biden did that, he's Spiro Agnew. Remember the vice president under Nixon, Spiro Agnew, pled no contest to bribery. And he got booted. Okay? Though, same thing could happen to Biden. So that's where we are right now. Bill at BillOReilly.com. You got any questions? But I think I've explained it fairly clearly. It took 15 minutes. But it's an important story because it affects the president of the United States, the most powerful man in the world, directly affects him. OK, his schedule today, 130, he gave a little speech about uh, um, trying to bring down oil prices. So uh, a million barrels a day going out for the U.S. oil reserve, not going to matter. Oil prices will come down a little bit now before Memorial Day and then they'll go back up in the summer. It's worldwide market that drives it, not U.S. market. But Biden is desperate. So he's, oh, no, I'm going to you know, release the oil. Hey, why did you strangle the oil industry in the first place? You'd never explain that. All right, so that's what he did. It's too late. Uh, it's too late. Too late for the Democratic Party. Too late for Joe Biden. They're going to get whacked in November. Now, because of the uh, strangulation of the oil industry, inflation has gone up. And we all know this, but I want to be very specific today. So in the past 12 months, the USA is between 8 and 10 percent inflation. That means last year at this time, OK, when Biden had just taken over from Trump, you were making 10 percent more money than you are now. Everybody understand that? You've got a haircut of 10% thanks to Joe Biden. So um, here are some things that have gone up. All the household products, Procter & Gamble household products, are up fairly significantly. We're talking about laundry detergent, cleaning stuff, body care products, Tide, Downy, Gain. They're up. Food is up, obviously. Mondelez International, the owner of uh, Oreos, Ritz, Cadbury Chocolate, Sour Patch Kids, 7% increase last month. Okay. Um, Home appliances up as much as 12%. Used cars up 39% in a year. 39%. Furniture up 9%. Okay, streaming services, Netflix raising its prices, uh, Amazon Prime, all of that is up. Food hit a worldwide high 20 percent increase year to year, according to the U.N. Food Agency. Brutal. It's all because Joe Biden strangled the United States energy industry and therefore transportation costs much more and all the products are transported by trucks. That's why. COVID had a little bit to do with it, but not a lot. Trump had COVID. We didn't have inflation there. This is all on Biden's incompetence, 100%. All the pain that we are experiencing.
And now he wants to raise taxes even more. The Democrats say, hey, I'll raise taxes. <laughs> All right. So uh, people go, it's not, not Biden's fault. These are the left, okay? No, no, he, he didn't do it. <laughs> okay. As you may know, inflation is out of control thanks to the policies of this administration. Retirement accounts are especially vulnerable now. When inflation goes up, your savings goes down. Protect your hard-earned wealth against inflation. Please call the people I trust at American Heart for Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. They're the highest rated firm in the country with an a rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. It takes just a short phone call and they will deliver physical gold and silver right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Plus, tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. Call 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. All right, here is the final thought of the day. I'm going to be off next week. I will write a column for Sunday. Noon will be posted. And uh, we will have messages of the day throughout the week. And I'm going to put an excerpt of Killing the Killers up on BillOReilly.com. So everybody can read it. You don't have to be a member. Everybody can read it. So I'm going down, uh, and I can't tell you where, because it's an island. And if I say it, people will panic on the island, and Putin might even invade. So I'll tell you when I come back. I'm going to an island, and I'm going to be underwater a lot, because that's, you know, one of my hobbies. Uh, Frighten the fish. Is that him? Um... But the most important thing about the trip is I'm going with 21 of my friends. Now, you would say, oh, well, you can't possibly have 21. I have more than that because I value friendship. I'm a loyal friend. So every two years, we call ourselves the men of adventure. And we go someplace, all right? And these are people that I've known, some of them, since I'm five years old, all right? So people I've met all throughout my life, we all gather, they all get along. No prima donnas, you're prima donna, you're finished. Okay? You can't be that. And we have a blast. All right? So we're going to be out on the water, we're going to be at the beach, uh, we'll be in a few pubs, not rowdy, you know, respectful. Um, the Men of Adventure trips have been going on since 1978. Now, we're geezers now, but we still got a little juice. So we've gone, we did a river raft in a Grand Canyon, unbelievably spectacular. We went to Iceland, the country will never be the same. We went to the big island of Hawaii and did a whole bunch of stuff there with that, you know, the little zip line thing. That was hysterical. So that's what we do every two years. I'm doing that next week. When I come back, I'll have a full report if I come back. All right. Those sharks, I'll be hand to hand with them. And um, I just wanted you to know that I'll miss you guys, uh, but hang tough. And um, we will be, I think it's April 4th, right? One, two, 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 no, April 11th. We will start up again. All right, stay well. Thank you for listening and watching the No Spin News. Supply chain issues have been a catalyst in bringing high-tech manufacturing back to the USA. My tech expert, and founder of Brownstone Research calls it the Great Recalibration, and he discusses it in his newsletter, Near Future Report. For the past 35 years, he has helped his subscribers safely navigate volatile times, and he also answers your most pressing questions, like how to protect your money from inflation, what are the implications of a new digital currency, and the Great Reset. What will the Fed do with interest rates? And what is expected from the stock market in 2022? Brownstone Research has been at the forefront of nearly every major market move for the past 35 years. Let Jeff Brown help you by signing up for his newsletter today at a 75% discount. It's a 12-month subscription for only $49. Please go to jeffbrowntech.com, jeffbrowntech.com. 
jeffbrowntech.com. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No Spin News, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First.